A much-loved orangutan raised at Perth Zoo before being released into the wild two years ago has died. Seven-year-old Semaru was apparently bitten by a snake, but researchers say it won't stop them introducing more zoo-raised orangutans into the Indonesian jungle. This is Semaru after being released into the wild, home at last in the Indonesian jungle. He was the first zoo-raised male orangutan to ever be released back into a native habitat. But just 17 months on, Semaru has been found dead in his nest by Indonesian trackers. The seven-year-old suffering a snake bite. It's a fate his keepers could have done nothing to prevent. But it was a, uh, an event that, that nobody could have predicted uh, and nor one that we could have done anything to prepare Semaru for any better. The news of Semaru's death has devastated zoo staff. They looked after the orangutan since his birth and helped prepare him for life in the wild. But it is distressing, um, but it's, it's also reassuring that all the things that the keeping staff had done in selecting Semaru and preparing him for uh, his time in the wild had worked really well. Perth Zoo orangutan keeper Kylie Bullo shared a special bond with Semaru. The pair had an emotional reunion when Miss Bullo travelled to Indonesia in December to see her old friend in the wild. At that time, he appeared to be in good health and settling in. And as soon as he saw me, he came straight down to visit, whimpering, and he held his arm out. Researchers at Perth Zoo are currently preparing five orangutans to follow in Semaru's footsteps and be released into the wild over the next few years, including a younger half-brother. Daniel Donnelly, 10 News.